So today I'm going to share with you my shorter but just as effective summer skincare routine. Check it out. Is that okay? Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, I'm Mary, I am 50 years old, and I love experimenting with products, devices, methods, anything that's gonna help me look as young as I feel. If you've been here before, you know I love my skincare, and I love the ritual side of it. I love the time that it gives me, and the time that I give to myself. I find it relaxing, I find it therapeutic, but it's also quite involved, and if you've seen any of my previous skincare uh, routines, you will know it tends to have a lot of steps. But this summer, I decided to take a slightly different approach. I wanted to kind of see if I could get it a bit shorter, if I could explore some all-in-one products that, that helps to truncate the amount of things that I'm doing. And I wanted to see if I gave my skin some time to breathe, if that was going to have a positive impact or not. Now, I'm not willing to lose effectiveness, I'll tell you that, for nothing. Um, but I just wanted to see if I could make it a little faster and if I could make it a little bit lighter for summer. We've had some really hot weather, which has been fantastic, but it also means you don't want to layer as much stuff on your face. So I decided to experiment a bit, and so far, so good. So today I'm going to do both my morning and my evening skincare routine for you. So if you like what you see here today, I really hope you'll subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so that you know every time a new video is uploaded, which happens every Friday. So if you're interested in heading straight over to the evening skincare routine, I will have all of the information and timestamps down below so you can find your way there. Okay, so let's get started. So the very first thing I do every morning is wash my face. Now, it's not a necessary step and a lot of people choose not to do it, but I personally like to just get that sort of freshly cleansed face feeling every morning to start my day. Now, I generally do it in the shower, which I'm not taking you in the shower with me today, um, but this is the product that I'm using at the moment by CeraVe, and I've always used their hydrating cleansing cream, which also comes in the white tube. Just started using the hydrating cream to foam product, which I surprisingly like. Um, there's something about that slightly foamy action that just makes me feel like it's getting a little bit cleaner. Ordinarily, I run a mile away from a foam cleanser, but it's a new favorite, and I'm nearly at the end, so I will be repurchasing that. Now, I generally get out of the shower and I keep my face a little bit damp because uh, products are actually absorbed um, a little bit better into the skin when they're when they're wet. So in the absence of the shower, I'm just going to spritz them with my favorite mist, which was my La Roche-Posay Tolarian Ultra 8, which I use a bit obsessively. And if you've been to this channel before, you know that. The first thing I do is a vitamin C product, and this one is by Pestle and Mortar. They are an Irish brand, and they make beautiful products. This is their vitamin C two-phase serum. So this is um, a 16% vitamin C, and I usually do two squirts of that, and just mix it together and apply it to my skin. Now, uh, it has three different types of uh, vitamin C in it that's supposed to help with the efficacy and um, delivery of the vitamin C without any irritation, and it definitely doesn't have any irritation whatsoever. The thing that I like so much about this product, um, it has two different chambers inside, and one is a water-based and one is an oil-based, so when you hit the pump, it activates them together, um, and it kind of combines both of those, both of those um, formats. And I have to say, I absolutely love this product. Um, I've been using it, I guess, for about two or three weeks now. Now, the brand did send it to me as a bit of PR, um, but as soon as this is out and over, I will be buying another one um, because oil deliveries are just my favorite. I have very dehydrated skin, so uh, I love the sort of hydration. You can almost see a dewiness to it because then that's the oil base too. But it's not too heavy. Um, I would have thought it was more for sort of normal to dry skin, but I, it absorbs quite quickly, so it might work for uh, the oily gals too. Um, and as with all of my skincare, I do my face, I do my neck, and I do my chest. As Carolyn Hiron says, down to the tits, I go all the way down so that all parts of sort of this are getting the benefits of the skincare. Okay, next is my serum. And ordinarily I would layer a couple of different serums at this stage, but this is a much smaller summer um, routine. And I've also found a product that claims to do all of this sort of stuff in one go. Now, this is a product called U Beauty. Um, I brought this in from the States, although they know they're selling it in the UK now. And I take two squirts of this and apply this all over. Now, this is one of those super products that says that it does everything because it contains a lot of pieces of two-ish. It has antioxidants, it has vitamin C, vitamin E, it has a stabilized retinol, which is a vitamin A, it has peptides, and it has multi-level of hyaluronic acid. So essentially, you know, it's got a lot of bang for the buck. Now the problem is the buck is pretty high. 
Um, this is an expensive product. Uh, this costs, I think this 30 mils costs 156 pounds or dollars, depending on where you're buying it from. I shipped this in from the States, but I know they're selling it in the UK now. So that opens up some options, but it actually is a lovely product. I love the way that it feels and it has negated the need for a whole bunch of other steps in my routine. Now you'll notice that I have not given up my vitamin C because I refuse, <laughs> but this is a product that I use both in the morning and the night and I absolutely love the way that it feels on my skin and I like the impact that it's had on my skin, but it's a pricey one. Okay, so next after that, um, I'm going just to a moisturizer. And the one I'm using at the moment is by Sunday Riley. It is her Ice Ceramide uh, Moisture Cream. This is a lovely product. I've been using this for a couple of months. I picked this, no, not even a couple of months. I picked this up last month when I was in the States at Sephora. And it's kind of a whipped consistency. Now what I would say is this is not for the faint hearted, which means oily or combination skin. It's best for normal to dry because it is quite heavy. Now it does dry down. Um, it soaks in pretty well, but it's a thicker, um, beautiful cream that I absolutely adore. Um, and it's actually a pretty good value. You get that big tub for about 65 bucks, I think. So, so far I'm really digging it. It leaves my skin nice and moisturized which is what we need to start the day. My hair's in the way. Okay. So right now my skin is feeling super duper hydrated. And in, in previous routines, I would have put on an oil um, either first or after the moisturizer, but I just don't need it between this product and the Sunday Riley Ice. Uh, my skin just feels absolutely amazing. So we only have one product and we are done. And that is my sunscreen. So the one that I've been reaching for more and more these days is one by Dermatology. Now, unfortunately, this is a product you can only get in the States, so I do have to ship it over. But this is a great product, and it's really, really cheap. I think it's about 25 bucks for 50 mils. It is a tinted sunscreen. Now, they call it the Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46 in a universal tint. And obviously, I don't use it as a moisturizer. It wouldn't be heavy enough for me to use. So for sunscreen, you need to have about a half of a teaspoon for your face and your neck. So I tend to do about three pumps, which generally is about the right amount. And sometimes I put it on in two different stages just to make sure that I get the coverage and that it sinks in. It's, you can see how it's a completely disappears, no white cast, which I absolutely adore. It's a combination of mineral and chemical sunscreen, but you know, there's absolutely zero irritation with this product. And it just disappears, it feels super light. It is an absolutely fabulous product. So I discovered this product when I was doing sort of the best sunscreens of 2021, and it absolutely made the list. And it's one that I've been reaching for more and more every day. It's just a great price point, and it's a fabulous product. So if you haven't tried it, you should check that out. I'll put a link to that video too so you can see the sunscreens that I'm using on a regular basis and I'll put that up here and I will also put that in the description bar below. So that's it for me. That is my morning routine and when I'm not talking and blabbing the whole process takes me about four minutes. So it's super quick. I'm using a lot less products this time of the year and it's great. So off I go. Hey guys, okay, here we are. It is now evening time, and you know, this is probably my favorite part of the day. It's the merry time. It's the time when I get to lock myself away and take all of the sort of the day off my face. Now, again, this is a sort of a shortened um, evening routine, so it's not gonna take us too long. Um, so, just to kick right into it, the very first thing I do is because I'm wearing a bit of mascara today is I will be using some of my Bioderma micellar water just to kind of get a little bit of it off. Now, all of the, the uh, products I'm gonna be using here today will take it off, um, but it just gets so messy. So I, I sort of start it off a little bit and I don't really rub at all. I just place my finger there and I kind of wiggle it so I'm not pulling on my eye or any of the skin around my eye, which is really delicate. And then I turn it over and do a little swipe. Now there's still gonna be some left over um, and that's okay. I'm just trying to take off the bulk of it because that stuff is nasty when it comes streaming down your face. So that's the first thing I do. Okay. Okay, and then I do a double cleanse every night and I always start with a balm or an oil and today I'm using my beloved pestle and mortar erase balm. Um, this features here on this channel quite a bit. I absolutely adore this brand and um, it's a very much an oil-based um, balm, and it's super, super 
oily, which I adore. So it's got pumpkin seed oil, which is an antioxidant, which helps fight free radicals. And it has prickly pear oil, uh, which has helped to um, boost cell renewal. Oh, this just feels and smells amazing on my skin. It is hands down my favorite balm. I do absolutely adore it. It's pricey, you know, it's about 45, 46 bucks for, I think it's 100 mils, but I love it so much. Now when it comes to getting off mascara, I kind of wiggle down. I'm not pulling on my skin, but I'm trying to deposit sort of the remnants of the mascara and pull it down so that I can wipe it away with my cloth. Now I like to take, you know, a good minute to cleanse at night, just to use my hands to kind of work it all in and kind of push the product in, get all the gunk off. But I'm not going to do it for a minute tonight, I don't think. And then I'm going to take my favorite cloth. This is my Wonder Cloth, and I get these in the States. And I would generally do this in the bathroom, but I can't seem to... There's just not enough space in there to get the filming right, so I have two bowls of warm water here. Not hot water. Hot water in the face is bad. It's nice warm water. And then I use, just use that to wipe all of this off my face. I didn't have a huge amount of makeup on today for a little bit, but it will take all most of that off in the first go because I also put sunscreen on my neck and on my chest. I like to make sure that I get that area too. Get all of that off. Again, it looks like I'm rubbing my eyes, but I'm not. I'm kind of wiggling to get all of that off. So then I wash that off and then generally for my second cleanse I would just rinse it in the sink but my sink isn't in my dressing room <laughs> so I'm going to rinse it out here and I'm going to use the other side of my cloth so for my second cleanse um, there are a couple of products I use one is the CeraVe hydrating um, cleanser which I don't have at the moment so I am using the La Roche Posay Tolerain um, or Tellarian, it is their um, anti-dryness soothing wash. It's just a really super gentle cream cleanser and it feels great on the skin and anything anti-drying is what I'm going for because my skin is so dehydrated. Yep, and I just rubbed this in a little bit. Super, super gentle, even for sensitive skin. La Roche-Posay is great. They do so many good products. And chest and on the neck. Take my clean one now. The water is warmer in that bowl. Should have started there. And I'm just going to rinse it off again. Okay, and then I just pat, don't rub, pat my face dry. So the next step is the most uh, powerful, I'd say, of my anti-aging uh, routine and the one that I use every night, and that is my prescription retinoid, that is my tretinoin. And I've talked about this a million times on this channel. I use Dramatica, and they are a subscription prescription service that delivers this to my house every month it's with a customized formulation just for me and my goals. So you um, do an online consultation, and they will put together a custom formulation just for you, and it costs about 20 pounds a month straight to my door. Um, the thing about prescription tretinoin is it is a lot more expensive. So if you are going to engage in this process, which I think everybody should, start low and start slow, but they can help you figure that out. But I'll put all the information about these products below. So I do two pumps, and I kind of place in different parts of my face and on my chest. Now, I can't use uh, tretinoin on my neck. I can't use it at this strength. I am on a 0.1% tretinoin, which is the strongest that you can get with a 4% niacinamide in it. And it's fantastic for my face and my chest. My, my neck can't tolerate it, so I will often go in with a gentler, um, sort of more of an over-the-counter option for that. But this I put all the way up under the eyes, I put it forehead, pretty much everywhere. The key is to not put it on the corners of your mouth or on the corners of your nose because I get peeling in those places if that happens and it's really not, not pretty. 
So, because my Dermatica is, uh, is, is too strong for, at least that formulation is too strong for my neck, I use another product. This one's by Medicaid. It is their Crystal Retinol Number no. 3. Um, I started using this, I don't know, a couple of months ago. I only use one pump and I put that on my neck. Now, I'm finding that my neck is tolerating this really well. So, when I run out of this, which is soon, I will probably go to a slightly stronger formulation. Um, Otherwise, if I have something that's too strong on my neck, it itches and it gets red, it is grossly uncomfortable. And I had used tretinoin on my neck at a point, um, a point oh five for years. And as soon as I went up to the point one, it just didn't like it. So I had to just leave it alone and find another product that was gonna work. Okay, then I wash my hands because I do wanna make sure that I get all of the tretinoin and as retinol products off of my hands. Because if I, I personally have found that if I start smearing the other stuff around my, the corners of my nose and my mouth, it will start to peel. So I make sure that everything is gone. Okay, usually I do a spritz at this stage because I'm a cereal spritzer and I like to get that moisture into my, uh, into my skin. Um, and then I'm moving on to the serums and I'm using the same one that I used this morning, which is the sort of all-in-one U Beauty resurfacing compound. So I'm going to use two pumps, and I'm just gonna put that all over. Staying away from the corners of my mouth and the corners of my nose, just to be safe. Okay. Great. Now, what I'm doing now is I generally move on to the moisturizer and if you've been to this channel before, you know how much I love this product. This is the Augustinus Botter, the Rich Cream. Oh, I love it so much. I love it too much. But when I recently went in to repurchase this at a very, very hefty price point, might I add, they were out of this at my um, local department store and, and the size that I wanted. They had 50 mil. They didn't have it. So instead, I bought a sort of two-pack that had their The Cream and The Rich Cream. So the rich cream is the one that I adore and I could use it day and, and, and evening and it is a heavier, richer cream, but that's what I like. Um, but I, have, I bought this so I need to use it. I don't really like this one as much and I don't think it's worth the money. But what I'm doing in order to get the benefits of it and to hydrate my skin is I'm combining it with my Christmas present. This is the Botter, the face oil. And Mr. Cameraman there got that for me for Christmas. So I'm mixing these two at night, which pretty much gives me the same hydration levels as this on its own. So this is here just for effect. <laughs> I'm using these two until I run out of those products. So I will start with the face oil, which is lovely, might I add. It is lovely. So I do, I don't know, about four or five drops of that because my face is super dehydrated. And then I just pat that in. And it's made with a lot of the same sort of technology that Botter is known for. And if you guys aren't familiar with Botter, um, I have done a review of the rich cream and I will put that link up here and I will also put it down below um, with sort of a is this product worth the price point well spoiler alert it is it's just one that's hard to sustain <laughs> so then I'm gonna go in with just the regular cream I should do about three of those Let's see how much I got there and then I rub that in so you know, like the morning routine, there's a lot less product that I'm using than I ordinarily would. You know, my winter routines, they're a lot more intensive. You'll notice that there's no um, separate exfoliant in this, which I used to do like every day. And then I think I went to two or three times a week. Um, but this U Beauty has an exfoliant in it. It has the AHA, so I'm getting that sort of, you know, fresh skin reveal that we need. Um, so I'm using a lot less products than I ordinarily would. but my skin seems to really like it and we've had warmer weather and you just don't want to put as much stuff on your skin but my skin is in it's in really good shape and it's liking this new routine so sometimes less is more so that's it for me so guys that's it you have now seen my summertime morning and evening skincare routine and what do you think and if you've seen my previous versions you know they were a heck of a lot longer but i can say that so far it's working my skin is doing great i'm really enjoying the products that i'm using the order the amount and so far it's working really well so what i'd love to hear in the comments down below is 
Did you change your own routine? Are you doing something different for summer? And do you have any of those all-in-one products that I can also give a try that helps to kind of combine, you know, multiple products that you would ordinarily do separately? So I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. So please do leave the information below. And if you like what you saw, please do give me a thumbs up. So thanks again for joining today and I will see you at the next video. Thanks. Get rid of all that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Clean hands now.